In this video, we want to explain some of the fundamental rules of SpyIQ. If you can understand these sort of from the word go, you will uh, find SpyIQ really easy to use. So really, there's just three rules. The first one is that SpyIQ presents your data as sent from Team AMS. So in some of the other videos and some of the processing the information that you will become familiar with is the group renaming and splitting of information down in our Team AMS platform that is reliant on settings in, uh, in player profiles uh, and also settings uh, in individual zones or in zone settings through here. So all the processing, if you like, for SpyRQ is done down in Team AMS and then summary information is simply sent up to SpyRQ and, and SpyRQ here is just presenting the information here in zones 5 and 6. So this is reliant on the zoning done down in Team AMS. So I guess as a user, if you have any questions or any queries regarding what zones are being used, you need to refer back to Team AMS because that's where all the zoning um, and player profile information is applied. The second rule in SpyRQ is that SpyRQ reports on information from drill splits, not from the main session file. So here in Team AMS, you can see this main parent file at the top here with no split is the whole session file. So this is from when the unit is turned on to when the unit is turned off. To improve the quality of the analysis, we split that file down to drill splits. So what SpyRQ does is essentially reports based on a sum of the drill splits for that session. So for this player, it will ignore the main parent file here that you can see is just over four hours, and it will sum this information from the drill splits. And that certainly makes the analysis more accurate. Um, but it also relies on the, the user to be quite consistent in the way they split their data to ensure that, uh, that sessions are comparable. So the downside of this is if you double up on your splitting, so you cut the same work into two drills and you send those drills or those up to SpyIQ, then SpyIQ will report, as we know, on the sum of drill splits, so it will double up on this information. So just be conscious of cutting one set of drill splits, sending that information to SpyIQ, and then you can really trust the quality of the, uh, of the analysis. The third rule, if you like, of SpyIQ. SpyIQ relies on the data having unique session names, drill names, and athlete names. You can see here I'm just in the admin section of SpyIQ in the Manage da Data tab. And I can literally see the data that has been sent to SpyRQ. So here it is, it's already zoned up, and this is what we present in our graphics and, da and data tables. So here we rely on unique session name, drill name, and athlete name. So there's sort of two ways you can be caught out here. One is if you cut a number of drill splits back down in Team AMS and you give it all the same name, so you know, skills, skills, skills then once it arrives up at SpyRQ, it will just see skills and it will actually, it will load them in the database, but it will, it will only present the information from the last drill split called skills that's been sent to the database. So what you need to do is you need to use unique split names in each of the, uh, in each of the sessions that you, uh, that you split and that way each of the drill splits will be presented. So the upside of this, uh, of this logic is if you decide back down in Team AMS that you're not happy with the zoning that you've used and you want to change some of your speed zones or your heart rate zones, or you want to move from a generic zone profile to an individual profile, then you can do that and you can just refresh your data using the refresh function, which is just selecting the data and refreshing using zones or using the player's new set of zones. This will refresh the data. You can resend it up to SpyIQ and it will simply copy over the old file. So it won't double up, it will just copy over based on having the same session name, drill name and athlete name. And that way all the data up at SpyRQ is then refreshed and represents the new settings. So look, those three rules are, are really important to SpyRQ. One is we rely on processing being done down at Team AMS. Two, SpyRQ reports on split data, not the parent file. And number three, always use a unique session name, drill name and athlete name, and uh, your data will always present as expected.